Championship day out here at Hoop Fest is officially in the books. And Andrew, I got to say, normally at Hoop Fest, the only kind of weather you got to worry about is heat. No doubt about it, but there was <laughs> rain in our forecast for the first time in a few years. We had about a 10 minute monsoon here at Hoop Fest. Out of what seemed like nowhere, it started pouring rain out here and naturally that disrupted play, which includes center court where they had to take out the physical court and even started blow torching the pavements and dry things up. The rain disrupted the women's elite championship. We'll touch on that here in just a bit. But first, let's talk about the main event. We've got a three-peat in the dunk contest. Darius Turner from Alabama gave Tyler Kronk a run for his money, but the two-time champ Kronk made it three after pulling a fan out of the stand for a dunk and eventually sealed the deal with the best jam I've ever seen out here, a bounce between the legs slam. Kronk, a former collegiate high jumper, is the champ yet again. Here's what he had to say on the big dunk and the accomplishment. That is probably maybe the fifth time I've hit that in like my whole entire life, but first time in a dunk contest. I tried it like my first year when I was here, but didn't hit it, but that dunk was huge. Three Pete, it feels good. I don't know if I'm gonna be done. I might do it again, but I will definitely just, I'm gonna come back as much as possible, so. You gotta defend the title. Absolutely, I was just kidding. <laughs> and on to game action. A ton of local stars coming out to check out the women's elite championship game between the defending champs, the Tomato Street Ballers and Empire Fitness. This game began on center court, as Travis said, but then Mother Nature intervened with a downpour to send the game back to the streets. And with Team Empire Fitness up by one, Jasmine Redman would knock down a pair of late threes en route to MVP honor. Chelsea Waters would hit the game-winning free throw at the line as Empire Fitness made up of Jasmine Redman, Jesse Loetta, Shaniqua Nillis, and Chelsea Waters completes the upset and knocks off the Tomato Street Ballers. In those last two years, we watched Tomato Street win those two, but honestly, just wanted to play with a couple of my old Zeg teammates, and we came together, and it was just a lot of fun playing with your old teammates and just coming back to Spokane where we all met each other, so it's always a lot of fun, I have to say. And I always looked up to Jazzy and Chelsea and uh, Shaniqua. I was always the little one and I would watch them play and when I came in they were graduated. But being able to play together here at Hoofus was just it's such a great experience. I really enjoyed it. And the longest running winning streak on the line today. Hob Northwest looking for its sixth straight six feet and over title and Andrew Parker Kelly started off on the right foot. He sure did. 10 points in this game for the MVP. But Travis, then we saw one of the most rare things you'll ever see at Hoop Fest. It's almost like seeing Bigfoot. Mike Hart scoring three points in a row for the Hub Northwest team before Mark Axton would put in the dagger from the free throw line. It's a six peat for Hub Northwest. They do it again. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome. We just come back because we love playing together. We love Hoop Fest. Uh, we hope people like playing against us because we have a heck of a lot of a lot of fun playing together. So that's why we're here. That's why we do it. I, I think after last year, you know, we had heard that there was a co-ed team that had won in five straight years as well. So we knew we were, we were kind of tied with them. So, you know, that was our, our motivation going in the, into this year was, hey, let's get the sixth one, uh, hopefully, and just, you know, separate ourselves from, from, from everyone else and just thankful to be able to do it. And in what may have been the best finish of the day in the six feet and under championship game with the game tied at 19 next point wins. It was Joshua Thomas for the B-Ball for Life team who came up with the game winning bucket to give them the victory. And that wraps up another Hoop Fest. And Andrew, I think it's safe to say the 2024 Hoop Fest is one we will not forget anytime soon. No doubt about it. From <laughs> the upsets on the court to the thousands of people to sunshine to rain, rain. it was an incredible <laughs> event this weekend. Absolutely. From downtown Spokane, for Andrew Quinn, I'm Travis Green.